welcome back to the channel hey everybody if you don't know me already welcome to ysm travel uh, for those new subscribers welcome for old subscribers welcome back so today we're going on an adventure <laughs> we're going biking to Jinak island um so in the gambia I'm on the south bank. We're gonna be going to the north bank of the river because Gambia is divided by a river. I'm down here, we're going up here. So we're gonna take a ferry across the river which should take about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on which ferry. Um, and then we're gonna try to bike along the coast of the beach. I don't know exactly how long, but like seven to 10 kilometers in the sand to get to a lodge um, to take us to Jinak Island. I've been to Jinak Island by road, I've been to Jinak Island by boat, but I have not been by bike. So today is gonna be pretty interesting, uh, especially if the tide is high, because we won't be able to bike across. We're gonna have to carry the bikes on our heads over the water or take a boat. So today is gonna be full of <laughs> interesting experiences to say the least. It's 6.30 a.m. in the morning right now, and we're gonna head to Banjul. We're not biking to Banjul since it's the first time. We're gonna try to conserve our energy to get to Banjul, cross the river, and then start biking. But um, I'm gonna take everything into consideration as if we are biking from where I am, just so people can kind of gauge how long it takes to do the whole trip by the end of the video. But right now, we're just gonna try to get to <laughs> the island so Jinak Island like I said is in the north bank um, it's a very rich area there's a national park Numi National Park and then they have the beach side so I haven't been there in oof, almost five years I think last time I went was with my aunt when we were scoping for a tour so it's the first time I'm gonna be coming back in a while we're gonna check out a lodge there called feel free lodge have a bit of lunch chill on the beach Go check out the you know activities, sights and sounds of the area, and then bike back. So we're trying to just keep it to like a half day. Maybe if we decide to get lazy and chill there, full day, <laughs> a full day thing. So here we go. We're doing this. Guys, look at Therese. She's lifting a bike. <laughs> this is the first and maybe last time we'll ever see this happening. <laughs> Bikes are loaded. We're hitting the road. The road. Oh, the light. 
Are you ready to start biking? <laughs> Basically. Okay. We're here now. Mara. Okay. We're about to start the bike ride to Jinak now. In the back hating his life that's the best one that i want to see <laughs> yeah apparently the salt water is what the, the bikes makes them rinse them. yeah when we get there we'll rinse them of course <laughs> so here we are t oh how do i get there okay t's over there she's gonna potentially be dragged by the guy with a motorbike <laughs> even halfway guys <laughs> says five miles but I, I think we're almost there we're more than halfway there I think maybe we're three quarters so we'll be there soon we'll be biking for about 40, 40 minutes Start biking now. Let's see how long it should take. I'm gonna say an hour, hour 30, but let's see because the high tide is gonna make it difficult because we'll be dodging it. Finally finished, we completed the task of going from Bara to Jinak by bike. 
Uh, so in total, according to my Strava app, it told me we went between 15 to 20 kilometers. I had a different amount from my friend Abdullah who was riding next to me. So mine said 19 point something something and his said less. So I'm going to just say mine said 19 something else. 19.38. Um, it took us about an hour uh, each way. Uh, on the way there, the wind was going against us. On the way back, the wind was going with us, but then it was high tide, so there was a lot more <laughs> ins and outs. I think next time if I go, I would definitely go in the morning, like how we did everything in the morning, and then sleep over, and then in the next day, in the morning, go back um, on the flat, empty, low tide beach, uh, plenty of great flat ground to, to ride on without dealing with the waves or anything like that. So definitely highly recommend if you like biking and if you're ever in the Gambia, I am tired. <laughs> so I'm definitely go to, gonna go to bed. I am tired, so I'm definitely gonna go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you to you. And thank you to you that are still watching if you already have subscribed. Uh, let me know what you think about the video in the comments and if you have any other bike riding ideas in the Gambia or um, on my travels throughout West Africa. And I'll try to um, do those trails for you if it's not like in a crazy place. So, all right, guys, thanks again. See you for the next video.